How does the average American feel about different religious groups? We've got new survey data. I know many of you, especially the atheists watching this video, are probably like, oh, please let us be a little bit more popular than usual. Sorry, spoiler alert, still unpopular. Here is the, the first information. This is coming from a Pew Research Center poll. And you're seeing there this uh, thermometer. It's, it's an often used tool in these sorts of surveys, like how warm or cold do you feel towards these different groups. And you're seeing there a huge difference between the top group, uh, Jews on this scale, and then at the bottom, uh, Muslims at 40. Huge 23-point gap in terms of how the average American feels about these groups. And so that, look, if you're a Muslim or if you're an atheist, obviously you're not going to like this. To know that you you rank below neutral. You rank below, eh, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, th we're talking about millions and millions and millions of Americans. So those general numbers are obviously interesting. Uh, perhaps not incredibly surprising on the low end. We understand that atheists and Muslims currently being openly denigrated. Like, you can insult Muslims and you can insult atheists, and for the most part, in most parts of the country, there are not going to be any negative consequences for doing that. But it is interesting that uh, in a country with the, the history of anti-Semitism that America and most of the rest of the world has, for Jews to be so highly rated, I, I think that that has to be tied in with the fact that for many evangelicals and other Christians, they have this obsessive, compulsive attachment to Israel. Um, so they seem to be rating Jews highly there. That's good. What's interesting is that uh, Jews and atheists rate evangelicals quite negatively, um, but evangelicals rate Jews highly. So it's not a reciprocal thing between Jews and evangelicals. Uh, it is, though, between the atheists and the evangelicals, so that's interesting. But there are some findings in this study that are a little bit more positive, could lead you to have a little bit more hope for the future. Uh, Christians and Jews are rated more favorably by older Americans than by younger people, while non-Christian faiths are rated more positively by younger people. And so that means that if you're a Buddhist or a Hindu or a Muslim or perhaps a Mormon, um, the younger people are, t they do tend to be a little bit more positive towards you, a little bit more open and understanding, and I have to imagine that's uh, similar for the atheists as well, uh, both because they're probably more likely to have met up with those people in their day-to-day -day life, and they're also just more open-minded in general terms. Now, in terms of that, having met people, uh, let's look at the difference between whether you know someone from a group or don't, what effect that has on what you think about them. So if you look here, um, in all of these cases, it looks like uh, knowing someone from a group does tend to make you more positive about them. But the, some of the jumps are really large. I mean, for Muslims, I mean, you're talking about more than a 50% jump in favorability if you know one or if you don't. Uh, atheists, again, almost uh, almost doubling there from 30 from 29 to 50. Uh, and so, like, if you don't know an atheist, it's incredibly easy for you to say, "Oh, they're awful. They're untrustworthy." But then once you meet them, you realize. Oh wait, they're humans. They wear sneakers and eat Pop-Tarts. They're the same as me in most ways. They just don't believe some of the myths and fantasies I uh, believe from the Bronze Age. And the same is true for these other groups. I mean, Jews are higher if you know someone. Uh, evangelicals as well. Buddhists, another large gap there. And so that doesn't really say too much about the individual religions. It says more about humanity. If you go out there and you experience different things, you meet different sorts of people, it is going to change how you view them, and it's probably going to make you more open-minded and more positive towards these different groups. That's why it's important to meet different groups of people, to have diversity, perhaps, at, at schools, at high schools, and colleges. Many people are just against that, the traditionalists, the racists, for the most part. But it does have a beneficial outcome. It makes you more positive towards these groups, and not just the atheists and not just the Muslims. Evangelicals, that number jumped up as well. This is a positive thing. Now, these numbers in 10 or 20 years, I expect to be very different. There are going to be more atheists. There are probably going to be more Muslims in the country as well, and they're going to be able to be more open about it. Right now, in many parts of the country, if you're an atheist in particular, you can't be open about it because you will be attacked. You will be distrusted. People won't want to date you, things like that. But I think that in the future, it'll change. I have hope, and hopefully when that happens, Pew will be there to actually poll on it. I think that good days are coming.